from Seattle, Washington. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's the Cube. On the ground at LinuxCon North America 2015. Now, here's your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Rick here with theCUBE. We are on the ground in Seattle, Washington at LinuxCon North America. It's a three-day show, there's a lot of stuff going on, and obviously with all the stuff going on in, in open source, Linux is the granddaddy of them all. So we're pretty excited to be here, and I think uh, Linux was actually here this, this morning. Linux was here this morning. So we're joined in our next segment by Alan Samuels, an engineering fellow, and also software architect, enterprise solutions at SanDisk. Welcome. Thank you, I'm really excited to be here. So you're excited to be here, you've had a good couple of days, oh. but it's been fabulous here, just to see all the different people, all the different things that are going on with Linux. It's just stunning to me, all the different corners of the industry that Linux has gotten into. So, I don't know that everyone would put SanDisk together with kind of open source software. So, kind of what's the connection? Why are you guys here? You're a sponsor, you've had some presentations. What's the tie between the two? Well, if you look at the way our business is evolving, both in, you know, as due to where Flash is going these days, you see uh, us investing in data center and in the consumer space and in mobile. And in actually all of these areas, open source and Linux are playing increasingly critical roles. So that's what our customers want. That's why we're doing that. Right, and it's also the increasing importance of software, right? Software is eating the world, software defined everything. You guys are making flash components and hardware components, but still it's software that's kind of driving the, the functionality of those things. Well, it's a synergy between the two. The, you know, hardware as it advances creates new capability, but you need software to unlock it. Yeah, now I think you said you had a panel earlier, so for the folks that missed the panel that weren't up here in Seattle, what did you guys cover? Well, we've had several presentations here at uh, LinuxCon. Uh, I gave a talk on uh, how hard drives and flash are evolving uh, different architectures for the way you store data in a data center. We had a couple of our lawyers here talking about the relationships of licensing issues. Uh, we just gave a keynote on how open source is building new ecosystems for the industry and how important that is to our business. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, the, so the software play. But let's also talk about Flash. I mean, we talk about Flash all the time. We're HP Discover, all Flash arrays. You know, people are really pumping all flash. Talk about the impact of moving from disk to flash and the way that applications operate and how it really unlocks a whole different level of, of ways to think about application, application functionality. Well, you know, I, I think it's really easy for people to understand. If you give them a computer with a hard drive and then you give them a computer with flash, within one minute they say, God, this is so much better, I'm never going back. <laughs> I want to see a hand, show of hands of people who haven't done that. Everybody's done that. And it's Flash that drives that, okay? Flash is pervasive in all the storage applications. It creates enormous new business value simply by our ability to process data you know, thousands of times faster at much larger scales. Right, right. And it seems to me too, you know, I'm not going to put you on the hook to give uh, financial, anticipated financial results, which I would never do, but it does seem like, you know, th at the early days of Flash, everyone was so concerned about it's got to be a low latency application only, it's got to be, hey, this super high value application only, but it, it seems the adoption is really accelerating, because as you said, once you, once you get a taste of it, it, the prices are coming down pretty rapidly, it seems that the, the uh, proliferation of Flash is really accelerating over the last little while. Yes, the, you know, in some ways, when you know, I'm old enough to remember the transition from tape-based computing to hard drive-based computing, we went through the same exercise. The learning curve happens, Moore's Law is continuing to march on, we have 3D flash now, just hitting the market in, you know, all across the industry. There are many years to come of decreasing flash prices, and as that happens, you're going to see flash increasingly be the center of computing, for all the reasons that you mentioned. Okay, so. I'm from Palo Alto, you're from San Jose. We got to get a little plug out to the Seattle Chamber of Commerce. He said something before we went on camera. He toured around in your last couple of days. Give us a little, uh, little uh, what sure. should people see while they're here? In Seattle, go to the Chihuly Gardens. It's right next to the Space Needle. It was one of the most fabulous exhibitions of blown glass that I have ever seen in my life. I was completely blown away, and that's a bad pun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alan. Well, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your busy day to stop by. It's great to uh, talk to you. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Alan Samuels, Jeff Frick. We are LinuxCon North America in Seattle, Washington. You're watching theCUBE. Thanks for watching.